It's Belle. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another weekly vlog. I didn't do a good job of updating this vlog, so it's a super short one. Just to hope you still enjoy it. finished Summer of Brave by Amy Noel Parks. Yeah, this is so fast. It's such a good book. I'm going to do a giveaway on my Instagram for a copy of this because I had already owned this. And then when Albert Whitman and Cub come sent me a bunch of books, this was in there. And, so, and then I finished the fourth and currently last book out so far in the Pages and Co. series. I think the fifth one comes out in September. It's just so good. I'm loving the direction it's going. And then I finished last night my the final prompt for Middle Grade March, reading a book or, that's older than you, Pollyanna by Eleanor H. Porter. This is such a good book. I love Pollyanna so much. I want to watch the, one of the mov movie adaptations soon. I'm reading Sir Fig Newton and the Science of Persistence. Almost done. Page 262. Such a good. Just loving the story. Reading the Star Spun Web by Sinead O'Hara. 78. So reading Explorers at Pirate Island. 240. And since I finished Pages and Co. series, started Keeper of the Lost Cities. So sure, Messenger only on chapter 2. Still getting caught up on Teen Mom. But I got rid of Janelle. And I kind of saw that coming because she picked an like, idiot over the show. I mean, I know he's her husband, but. He's toxic and seems like he's abusive. He doesn't work, right? And the whole dog thing that happened a couple years ago, I don't like him. <laughs> um, and now I just got to the point where Chelsea said she was leaving the show and I just started the first season that she's not on and she's my favorite. And I do not like who they replaced her with. Like, I don't want that girl at all. <laughs> so, but... And then after I get caught up with this, I'll probably, I'll go to Teen Mom OG, get caught up on that. And then there's a new show, Teen Mom Family Vacation or something, where it's got cast members from each one. So, and then I'll watch that. So, I never show that I got my nails done. Their colors never look like what they look like on the thing. I got one of like a pastel purple, like Easter pastels, and this looked like a pastel purple in the thing, and it, once you got it on, it's like more of a pastel pink, so that's fun. But I still like it, but uh, middle, grade, middle grade March is coming to an end, and I had so much fun this year. And I thought I'd included it before now, but I just noticed a clip that I hadn't put it in a vlog before, so I'll probably do it in this one after this clip, but of where Krista from Brooks and Jams one of the main hosts of Nobody Mark had included me in the video of Booktubers Recommend. I want you guys every March of a whole bunch of Booktubers recommending a middle grade book. And she had reached out and asked if I'd like to be a part of it. And I was so happy. I never thought that I would be in that video one day. <laughs> so that was fun. And you already know what book I picked. <laughs> the School for Good and Evil. And I said for the prompt of a book with five more words in the title. So I'll include that little, little clip of that. And thank you to her and Life Between Words and the Curly Reader for another fun year of Middle Grade March. It's just the best time and I just, just I love what they do every year with it, so and can't wait till next year already, but <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go for now. I got supper cooking. The first part of it, the ribs. And I'm probably gonna call my mama and get an update on her. So I'm going to to them. So, update y'all later. Hi friends, Krista here. Thank you so much for stopping by Books and Jams. I'm so excited that you have clicked on this video. 
because it is my favorite thing to create every year for Middle Grade March. This is our fifth year of Middle Grade March. This is the fifth year that I have created this collab video where I have asked a bunch of different booktubers, wonderful booktubers, to share one middle grade book that they love. I'm so Hi, Alex Bell from Bell's Middle Grade Library, and you saw it, Christopher, including me. The book I'm recommending is the first in my favorite series of all time. It's School for Good and Evil. It's on my This one, they were so tender, it was really hard to get them out of the Instapot because they were falling apart. This one did break into, that's why it doesn't look as pretty as this one. So I had to figure out a way to just get them out, period. But I did it, so. So I finally switched some of these out. I want to get like a rack to put on the wall so all, all of them can be there. But for now, I just switched and they fit on this thing that, that these were on. So I just did that for now and I just got finished. And I really like them. So yeah, I gotta clean up my mat. Um, like I said, I've had these forever and like it's, some of them you can't even see what the name used to be. So, seven years is a good amount of time to have them. I've been slowly switching out my winter clothes for my spring summer clothes. But still keeping out some winter since it was 70 yesterday and then 19 today and snowing. So you never know what's gonna happen. So I need to get that done too. I can't remember the last time I updated. It's Monday, April 4th. I had finished Pollyanna. Loved it. Finished uh, Ocean Squid, second book in that. Explorers at Pirate Island. <laughs> Loved it. Finished Surfing Newton and the Science of Persistence. Such a cute story. Loved it. And I can't remember what else, but still reading the Star Spoon Web. My Sinead heart on 202. Oh, it. Started Witchlings by Clarabelle A. Ortega. It comes out tomorrow. On page 115. It's so good so far. And then in continuing the series, I'm reading the second book in Maylie's, Maylie's Luck of the Irish, and Mel Tuckley. On page 63. And then the third book's out too, so when I finish this, I'll get the third book. And these are just real fun, heartwarming, wholesome stories. I'm really loving it. Get to travel all over with her. And then the next, for the longer series, I did start Keeper of the Lost Cities. And I'm reading the illustrated and annotated edition by Sharon Messenger. And I keep reading more of this than I was planning to because I can't put it down. I'm on page 412, so I'm almost done. I just keep wanting to read this one. So... It is incredible. It is so up my alley. Like, with the school and the, just everything about it and the writing. And I'm loving her little notes that she writes and just seeing her process and how she came up with stuff and where it came from and the ideas behind stuff. And I just love the little notes. I hope she does this for each book. God, really, because I know it's a series I'll reread if I love it. The whole series as much as I do this one. And I just love seeing those notes and the illustrations that are sprinkled throughout. Of course, love that. 
I do want to get a ton of this red since this comes out tomorrow because I do want to get a review up soon. So I'm going to do some reading now. <music> enjoyed it and if you'd like to subscribe i would love that if you'd like to and i'll see y'all in the next video